The shift in relations between the United States and Cuba will likely impact all of Latin America in one way or another. CCTV's Stephen Gibbs joins us live from Rio de Janeiro for more on that. Stephen. Mike, it's very apparent here that this is much more than a story just between Cuba and the United States. It's absolutely central to the relationship between the U.S. and the whole of Latin America. Latin America rarely speaks with one voice. But a single issue has, for half a century, consistently united this region, and that is Cuba. Latin American leaders have tended to see the U.S. treatment of Cuba as one of the bully. The issue of human rights on the island has been entirely overshadowed by what is seen here as the greater evil, interference by an overpowering neighbor. It is partly thanks to U.S. policy that Cuba has become a rallying call for this region's leftist governments, bringing together nations such as Venezuela, Nicaragua, Bolivia and Ecuador on a broadly anti-American path. Significantly, the breakthrough in relations between these two long-time foes was brokered by a Latin American, the Argentine Pope Francis. Any weakening of the U.S. embargo, which seems increasingly likely now, will have its winners and losers in this region. A winner could be Brazil. It has invested heavily in a major new port in Cuba, which will benefit massively from increased trade. One possible loser is Panama, which has long been an alternative entry point for goods to the island. And Venezuela, in the midst of an economic crisis, may be wondering if its closest ally is now looking north. Todos somos Americanos. We are all Americans, said President Obama at the end of his speech, addressing, as he put it, our family to the south. There are still plenty of hard feelings between the U.S. and Latin America, but one long-running impediment to better relations is now being removed. Well, Mike, in the, just in the last few hours, we've been hearing from various presidents across Latin America, all very pleased, it seems, with what's been going on between Cuba and the United States, many seeing it as a victory for Cuba. Here's a selection of what a few have had to say. We, fighters for social justice, never imagined we would witness this moment, the reestablishment of diplomatic relations between the United States and Cuba. I want to send my greetings to Cuban President Raul Castro, and I want to send my greetings to U.S. President Barack Obama, and above all, I want to send my greetings to Pope Francis for having been, most possibly, one of the key factors in this reproachment. I believe it is a moment that marks a change in civilization. El gesto del Presidente Barack Obama. The gesture by President Barack Obama must be recognized. It's a gesture of courage, and that's necessary in history. It's a step forward, perhaps the most important one of his presidency. And Cuba remains standing with its Cuban people and educated people with dignity, with values. And President Barack Obama has said that they cannot continue on insisting with a stance of trying to bring Cuba to collapse as a way of carrying out policy. It seems like a historical rectification. And that was Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro. Stephen, what was the role of Venezuela in all of this? Oh, I think the situation in Venezuela, Mike, has been pretty crucial to this. Venezuela, for the last decade or so, has been an absolutely fundamental economic partner for Cuba. It provides most of the oil Cuba needs. A lot of that is paid for in the form of doctors. It's been a very satisfactory arrangement, really, for both sides. But in the last couple of years, the Venezuelan economy has gone into deep recession. That has been worsened in the last few months with the fall in the price of oil. And there must be some in Havana who are wondering what is the future of Venezuela. And if there's a political problem in Venezuela, i.e. a change of government there, what happens to that deal with Cuba? So I think that the Cuban government has been looking for a plan B. And the obvious one and the, the, the best one for them, really, is to look north towards the United States. And the timing's also been extremely good for the U.S. too. Stephen Gibbs, live for us in Rio. Thank you.